Hi and welcome to week 11 of World History 2. So we, the, we this is the beginning of a new unit and we will go through the Industrial Revolution, a period of transform, transformative change that reshaped the world. So in the next few minutes, I'm just going to talk about some of the key factors that sparked the Industrial Revolution, why it originated in Britain, the pivotal role of steam technology, the, adm the advancements of the factory system and the transportation revolution, and the subsequent spread of the monumental era. So to begin, we're going to take a look at how changes in agriculture were instrumental in sparking the Industrial Revolution. Agricultural innovations in the 18th century, such as the enclosure movement, crop rotation, and selective breeding of livestock increased agricultural productivity. These advancements led to surplus food production and a smaller agricultural workforce. This surplus labor, no longer needed in, in the fields, migrated to urban areas, creating a pool of available workers for emerging industries. So to move on and talk as to why the Industrial Revolution began in Britain, several interwoven factors contributed to its in initiation in this region. Britain had an abundance of natural resources, including coal, coal and iron ore, crucial for industrial development. Additionally, it possessed a stable political climate, a vast colonial empire that provided raw materials and markets, as well as a very strong monarchy with executive power. Furthermore, Britain's geographical location and its network of navigable, navigable rivers provided easy access to trade and transportation, facilitating the movement of goods and resources crucial for industrial growth. The confluence of these factors created a favorable environment for the onset of the Industrial Revolution. We will be also exploring the pivotal role of steam technology the invention and widespread adoption of steam technology, particularly the steam engine by James Watt, revolutionized industry by providing a reliable and versatile power source. Steam engines were used in various applications from powering factories and machinery to propelling steamships and locomotives, drastically increasing the efficiency and output of industries and transportation. The steam engine's ability to convert heat energy into mechanical power was a driving force behind the Industrial Revolution, transforming the way work was performed and enabling the rapid expansion of industries and transport networks. So, describing how the factor system and transportation revolution adv advanced industry, the establishment of the factory system transferred production methods, factories centralized production, housing multiple machines and worker, workers in a single location, streamlining manufacturing processes and increasing output. The introduction of division of labor and the use of machinery in factories uh, significantly enhanced productivity. Simultaneously, the transportation revolution marked by the construction of canals and the development of railroads revolutionized the movement of goods and people. Canals like the Bridgewater Canal and later the revolutionary invention of the locomotive by George Stevenson facilitated the efficient and rapid transportation of raw materials and finished products, connecting regions and driving economic growth. Finally, tracing how the Industrial Revolution spread, the success of it in Britain sparked a widespread interest and emulation across Europe and the United States. The advancements in technology, factory system, transportation served as, mo as models for other countries aiming to replicate Britain's industrial success. These techn technological and industrial advancements gradually spread across the globe, transforming societies and economies, leading to a global industrial transformation that reshaped the world and laid the foundation for modern industrialized and developed societies. So I hope that this was a sufficient enough preview for the coming week. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. So thank you.